Good evening and salam ibu bitiriku. A second Chinese citizen have been confirmed killed in the Easter Sunday bombings in Sri Lanka. Local China Xinhua News Agency cited the Chinese embassy in Colombo as confirming the fatality. The report said the number of injuries among Chinese was still being confirmed. The United States, Brighton, India and other countries have also confirmed their citizens were among the 290 dead. China has extensive business ties with Sri Lanka and is sending growing numbers of business people, tourists and workers to the island. Both Chinese President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Qiang have sent condolences and said they firmly support the Sri Lankan government's efforts to maintain security and stability. A Sri Lankan military spokesman said that an explosive device was found and diffused late Easter Sunday on an access road to the international airport near Colombo. The discovery came after nine bomb attacks shook Colombo and its outskirts, targeting churches where worshippers were celebrating Easter, luxury hotels frequented by tourists and other sites. Air Force Group Captain Gihan Sever uh, Severventon said Monday that the authorities found a homemade pipe bomb filled with 50 kilograms of explosive on Sunday night in Adiambam Balama near the airport. Police in Sri Lanka said Monday the investigation into the Easter Sunday bombings will examine reports that the intelligence community failed to detect or warn of police possible suicide attacks before the violence. Two government ministers have alluded to intelligence failures and telecommunication minister Heron Fernando tweeted on Twitter some intelligence officers were aware of this incident. Therefore, there was a delay in actions and serious action needs to be taken as to why this warning was ignored. He said his father had heard of the possibility of an attack as well as had warned him not to enter popular churches. Police spokesman Ruan Ganasekara said the Criminal Investigation Department investigating the blast will look into the reports and he added on Monday, the death toll have risen overnight to 290 dead with more than 500 wounded. Defence Minister Ruan Jewar Wadena uh, previously described the blast as a terrorist attack by religious extremists and police said 13 suspects were arrested though there was no immediate claim of responsibility. He also added that most of the bombings were believed to have been suicide attacks and the anguished Bishop of Colombo, Cardinal Malcolm Rajit, called on Sri Lanka's government to mercilessly punish those responsible because only animals can behave like that. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamarudin Bujang. Salam Ibu Witiriku.